Hi everyone, my name is Moin and today I've got a little bit of time to run through some of the bits of SSIS and basically today's demo features that how to execute the SSIS packages on remote servers. I mean, last time I was having a little problem by executing an SSIS package onto our remote server with a skill server. So I have decided to create my own utility which can do this for me and it's uh, based in C-sharp so all you need is .NET Framework 3.5 to run this and it pretty much executes the SQL Server 2005-2008 SSIS packages all you need is the SQL Server installed along with the SSIS components on their onto a destination or production server so let's get started first let's have a look on the utility Right, so you just specify the path of the package, where your package is. Now keeping in consideration, if you've got multiple packages, how would you run them? What I would do is just embed them into a single package and try running them. We'll go through with that in another tutorial. But for now, let's see if I click on, yeah, it's got no package. And let's get started by creating a package then. I've got already bits loaded up. I've got a sample project over here as well which is called test package so what I'm gonna do is just create a sequence container I'm gonna name my sequence container as I'm gonna take a data flow task and I'm gonna do the same with this Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my script component to create a dummy row which would be fed into an output text file. Let's go here. I'm going to do it in Visual Basic go to my inputs and outputs I've got output buffer I'm gonna change the name of the output buffer to buff1 and I'm gonna add a column let's call it as test column 1 now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my scripts I'm gonna go to edit script just gonna change don't need this Right, let's have a look on the column which we've created. It was an integer and still you've got no errors. I'm gonna report it as a suggestion or a bug, whatever, to Microsoft, but at a later stage. For now, let's change this to string type DDSTR. 50 is the length of it, should be fine. Code page I'm gonna leave it as default. So I'm gonna go back, gonna close this, click on OK and it should be fine now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a text file or a flat file and I can have my component I'm going to create a new connection manager for the file delimited should be fine and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my C drive where I've got name 
the file as leave everything default test column one click on ok go to the mappings that should be fine click on ok right now to test my package let's run it and see how it goes Teacher is not valid. I think we already changed it to string. Right. So it didn't validate it. Now it's validated and the script is running fine. What I'm gonna do is just stop it and go to my test runner folder here and it's on the Cinder. Let's see what have we got. Fair enough. Let's delete this. Close it. Save it. It's empty. Let's run it again. Right. So check leave this close this save right so now my files got nothing as you can see from the size what I'm gonna do is just gonna deploy this package and if I'm gonna change my deployment paths as well Right, so we've got a package over here in test runner. Now this is a package which is basically here. So let's choose my SSIS runner to run this package. There you are. It only gives you the option of customized it so the dialog box doesn't show anything else apart from the DST access. Open, click on run it, and we've got success as status. If there's an error, it will display them here. Right, let's go back and see what have we got. Voila, we've got the file, I mean the string in there. Just gonna remove it, close it, save it. File zero, empty. My runner, same package, run it. One, just see, test, test, test. And that would be it. So, this component is downloadable from my website at moins.com. Please feel free to download it from there. Cheers.